I adored Bart the Bad Guy and I was really pleased to see that this has quite a high overall rating on IMDb. This is the 14th episode of the 31st season of The Simpsons. It's directed by Jennifer Muller and it's got an overall rating at the moment of 7.2 out of 10 across 991 reviews and ratings. Anything in the sevens at this stage in The Simpsons is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I thought it was absolutely incredible. There was one bit I didn't personally care for, and I'll talk about that with a spoiler warning, but for the most part, I adored it. Milhouse ends up in the hospital. I won't say why exactly. It's an interesting enough setup. And while there, Bart gets the opportunity to see a film that's not due out yet, and it's a film everybody is desperate to see. And we definitely have a Marvel parody going on here. And Bart realises that he's got the power because he has seen this film that initially he thought everybody would want to know about. So initially he was going to tell people, if you do this for me or if you give this for me, I'll tell you how this film you're desperate to see ends. And then he learns quite quickly that actually he can blackmail people instead and tell them, if you don't give me what I want, I will spoil the film for you. It is so relatable. If you're a film fan or a TV fan, I guess, you will know what it's like for that anticipation of this film you've been desperate to see. And it's one of those films where the ending could be shocking, it could be unpredictable. And the, the fear of stumbling upon spoilers is so real. And I feel like it's such a, an obvious blackmail for Bart to, to have some fun with. But things don't necessarily go according to plan. And... At that point, I lost interest a tiny bit because I didn't like the direction it took. But in general, I thought the message was fabulous and it's so relatable. And I absolutely loved it. Very, very well animated. Even though I'm not a fan of Marvel at all, there were some very obvious um, characters being parodied. And I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, it worked quite well. And it's a narrative that I was really thoroughly drawn into. So the bit that I didn't like, this is the last thing that I have to mention. Um, so this is a big spoiler for something that happens. And on the one hand, I actually thought it was quite clever because I didn't see it coming. But at the same time, I still didn't love it. So big spoilers from now. What happens with Bart is that he thinks he's experiencing this alternate reality with these superheroes, but it's actually just... Um, well, it's a clever trick. I won't say too much more about it. Once we learned it was not real or not... Once we once we realised he wasn't in this alternate reality with these superheroes actually experiencing these superpowers, I felt a little bit better about it. But before that, and even, I guess, once we still realised that, I just didn't care too much for the actual superheroes, is what I'm trying to say. I wasn't that bothered about it. Maybe if I was a bigger Marvel fan, I would be. But as I said... I've seen a couple of, well, a, a decent amount of Marvel films. They're okay, but I'm not really a fan. And I've only just realised why The Simpsons can get away with parodying Marvel so blatantly, because it's it's Disney. That was a little slow on the uptake on my part. Um, not that it changes my opinion on anything. So as a whole, I loved this episode. The feelings are very relatable with regards to the people Bart is trying to blackmail. Not that I would ever do the thing that Bart is doing. If somebody said to me, here's a free, or well, it doesn't even have to be free, but if somebody said, here's an official screener for a film you're desperate to see, do you want to watch it in advance? Yes, please. But also I would not spoil it because I hate spoilers. I hate people who intentionally spoil things. I just think it's disgusting. Why ruin something that's so important? Because some people just think it's a film. Who cares? No one matters. It absolutely matters to some of us. And this episode really helps to show that actually that's the case. And as you see, it's not just comic book guy. There are other, you know, general people who are not exactly film fanatics who, who are really affected by this. So I think it's something a lot of people can relate to. Really brilliant episode. Yeah, I didn't love the bit with the uh, superheroes, but it wasn't that bad. And ultimately, it's an episode I think I'll always really thoroughly enjoy.